American Falls High School. It's been over 10 years since the Beavers won a state championship in a sport other than wrestling. But there was a time when the best kept secret in Idaho sports was found on their soccer field. I mean, it took me five minutes watching her play the game, and I was like, this kid could play anywhere. Watched her for a second, and I thought, whoa, that girl's good. And then just as the practice kept going, I thought, okay, this girl's really good. Both our jerseys got retired at the same time, and it took, took me 10 years to get my jersey retired, and they retired her jersey right after she graduated high school. So I'm, I was like, what the heck is going on here? It took me 10 years. Come to find out, she's that good. Growing up in the town of just over 4,400 people, the daughter of two Mexican-American immigrants, Maria Sanchez, grew up with the love of the game of soccer, spending hours kicking around the ball and practicing on a field across the street from her parents' house. Since my older brother, uh, I would always play with him, so he would play with his friends, and he's six years older than me. And for me to be able to play with them, I had to be on their level, so it was just motivating me because I wanted to play and I wanted them to pass me the ball. As she grew older, her love of the game grew stronger, and so did her skills. When Sanchez reached the high school level, the state was about to learn of the budding legend of Maria Sanchez. Each of her four years, she led the state in scoring, and in total, she scored 178 goals with the Beavers. It was clear she was a special talent, but exposure was limited because she couldn't play on club teams or in travel leagues. It was just frustrating, but it also motivated me a lot because I wanted to be better than them. Just knowing that they would travel the United States playing in club teams and improving and playing with other people because sometimes I didn't, I was the only one out in the field. American Falls in the small communities in Idaho. I mean, there's, it's, there's good athletes all over the place. And like I said before, it's a lot about the exposure, but if you're good and, and you have the right work ethic and you do the right things, um, you're gonna get seen. I think there in itself lies her success story, is the fact that the passion and the desire and the dreams that she had and yet not having the resources, you know, to either get there or to pay for club coaching, um, you know, and, and to do what she did on her own is just absolutely tremendous. And I think it's, you know, one of the reasons that she has been so, so successful is that she was her own resource. Most college coaches wouldn't make the trip to see the rumored diamond hidden in the gem state, but eventually word traveled down I-84 to Pocatello and Idaho State head coach Allison Gibson. Well, they're, okay, you need to come watch this game because this is going to be one of our better um, opponents that we're playing. Just come, it's 20 minutes away, drive out, and she said, okay. By the time we got out of the car, we parked, opened the door, American Falls had scored, didn't know who. Was, we're walking into the stadium, American Falls scored, didn't know who, sat down, like got our seats, sat down, American Falls scored, didn't know who, and my assistant at the time, Kramer's like, I didn't even get my sunflower seats open, and we found out she had scored three goals, literally by the time we parked to the time we were sitting down, and I was like, she scored six goals in that game. Sanchez signed with the Bengals and in her first season proved she could play with anyone, scoring seven goals and being named honorable mention all Big Sky. But this was just a taste of what was coming over the horizon. She was so hesitant. You know, I said, I, I just found out that they're doing tryouts in the U.S. for the Mexican youth national teams. And, you know, I said, I, I just feel like you need to get there. I knew I had to take the opportunity, and I was kind of second-guessing it if I really wanted it, like, this year. As a kid, Maria Sanchez never played club soccer. She went to a 3A high school, and people always questioned if she was good enough to play with better talent. And at age 19, she's about to take on the world. It seems like a dream because the more I try to think about it, I can't get the idea of what's actually happen happening right now. And it's just, it's what I've always worked for.